Hey guys, welcome to Ideas Every Day, and today for a quick project, I'm going to teach you how to make a phone stand for your phone and include it with a charging cable. Ready for it? Just put on your nightstand, put it overnight, put it to charge, or just have it there, have the phone just standing there. Um, it is a great project, it's easy to build. I did use, um, I repurposed all the wood. It came from pallets, so the boards are not perfect, but you just do this with whatever wood you have laying around if you want. Now something really cool that I did was actually made a little hole in between both boards so it actually goes to the back to be able to plug it in to charge. That's a very easy build, it's just going to take a couple minutes and you just got to wait for some glue to dry. Uh, but overall it's very simple, uh, minimal tools as well, so let's get started. So guys, the first thing we're going to do is measure your phone. My iPhone uh, was about six and a quarter by three and a quarter. I will have the dimensions actually go a little bit over. So I actually have some uh, space around. I don't want it to just be just the size. I want it to actually look like it fits in. Now I do want to add about two and a half inches under that. So I can actually um, have the little dock of uh, of the cable where I'm going to put the charger. So it's going to end up being about eight and a half to almost nine. Now here I am um, cutting down the board to size. I will cut it little by little. I want to sneak up on it because I found this nice board that I really like. I like the other one that you saw that it's just snapped in half. Now I was struggling a little bit of getting uh, straight sides and it was just because these are repurposed woods and I do not have a straight cut slider yet or jig but just go little by little and I got it to where it was straight enough for what I was going to do. I just make sure that the phone fits nicely and make sure it has enough space for the cable as well. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to try to find a little scrap piece to make like a little holder for the phone. So whenever it is standing up, it won't slide down. Now this could be any size you'd like. I just made it almost just a little bit between the size of the phone and the size of the board. Uh, but I did make sure that I will have enough space to actually cut the hole for the cable. Now I got an idea to cut the hole for the cable and I found a drill bit that was just bigger than the cable, the plug actually, and just did a hole straight down through it. Make sure it was nice and clean and the cable goes right through with a nice and perfect fit.
Now, since I didn't have previous plans for this project, you're going to see me uh, dry run and test fit everything. Uh, make sure everything actually lines up nicely because I'm just making this as I go. Now here I'm trying to get the angle to where I want it to be standing and I found out it's about 60 degrees so that means I want to shave off 30 degrees from my blade from the other side and that's going to give you the perfect angle. Now that we have the right angle, we need to start working on the base. So I found another scrap, I'm just gonna make the base just a little bit shorter to make sure that if you just look from the top, it just kind of hangs over the base, uh, the part that is actually slanted. So it just looks, has a nice uh, appeal to it and it won't be too long, just enough for actually to hold all the weight of the phone and not tip over. And here's the part where I was like, hmm, we're gonna pass the cable through. So I got this brilliant idea of actually opening up a hole on the bottom of that board to actually give enough room for the cable to go through. And my first idea was to grab the same drill bit that I drilled the hole with and try to see if I can just shave down the side. But this did not turn out very nice. So I was like, hey, I have a, a table saw, so why not use the table saw? And I did work perfectly. Now, a little bit of sanding. After we're done sanding everything, another uh, dry fit of all the parts and make sure everything is nice and smooth and actually I marked where I want the little bar, the holder to be because now we're going to get to the glue. Now since my board was actually not a perfect board, since it's repurposed from pallets, it wasn't straight on a face and it actually was very hard to get the holder to glue on on the right spot. Every time I would just put it, it would just move slightly because there was a little, um, there's a little bend on the board, on the face of the board. But nothing like two clamps can't handle. I also did before it started drying, I placed my phone. I actually wanted to make it nice and straight. So I just tapped it little by little, readjusted the clamps until I found the right and sweet spot. And now we let it sit and dry. After it's dry, what we can do is pop out the clamps and dry fit everything again.
And I did find two screws that are very small. They're just, I would say they were almost an inch. And it was actually gonna work perfect for the boards that I was using because you wanna make sure that the screws are not gonna go into the other side. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place some two pins with my nail gun um, just to hold it in place so then I can actually drill the holes and countersink them and make sure it lines up properly and does not break to the other side of the, of the board. So there you go guys, this is the final product and if you like this build, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments uh, how yours turned out or what uh, recommendations you have. I think my next step will be to put a wireless charger on it so you just leave the phone there. Uh, but I don't not have one yet. Stay tuned for that addition to this and maybe a little hand to put my uh, Apple Watch as well. Don't forget to subscribe, give this a thumbs up if you really like it, make sure you share it with a friend and I'll see you in the next build.